Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Drunk Elephant review. This is for their TLC Glycolic Night Serum. I've been trying it out since July of 2018. Usually I test out skincare for a minimum of six months before I think of doing a review. With my other Drunk Elephant video, I was giving updates throughout the weeks and months, but with this one, I just decided to just make one big review after testing it for more than six months. So, that being said, I'll have timestamps down below if you want to skip around. I have Combo Oily Skin and I'm 25 years old. I've been using almost exclusively a Drunk Elephant skincare routine since... Oh, there's an airplane flying by since February of 2018 overall I did enjoy this at the time prior to me trying out the baby facial and the retinol cream this was my favorite products from drunk elephant it was the most standout product that I felt kind of delivered it made my skin really smooth it kind of helped with a little bit of texture not too much it warned you that you can have slight tingling the first couple of days that you use it I experienced it for a couple of seconds kind of around my cheek area the very first time I used it and then never again did I have any issues it doesn't dry out my skin it just leaves it a little bit sticky like I said it did help my skin be a lot softer I do have some texture particularly on this side of my face in this section and it did help smooth that out a little bit but what really ended up helping later on was the baby facial and the retinol cream which we're gonna dedicate a whole video for that I did enjoy this I think it was the one product at the time that was really worth it when I had finished the proteiny and the Lala retro I was kind of on the fence like this was a nice product but would I really spend that amount of money again but with this one I was pretty sure like yes I would spend it I mean granted I'm on a no buy right now but if I had the money I definitely feel like this was that one product from all the things that I purchased in my previous video that was actually really worth it along with the sunscreen sunscreen protection is important throughout the year so it said here in the evening applied a clean dry face neck chest and back of hands avoiding eye area mix or layer with virgin marula for maximum effectiveness i did do that occasionally i didn't feel like this dried up my skin at all but i have pretty tough skin which i've come to realize after trying out the baby facial and the retinol cream so if you do have sensitive skin i would kind of ease your way into it of course i didn't experience any breakouts any issues with it like i said it helped a little bit here any of the fine lines that i have like on my forehead they're still there and i have really big pores on my nose i noticed that a lot of times i get comments like oh well looks like you're wearing foundation or it looks like this or that my other camera did have kind of a bit of a skin filter even if I tried turning it off this is the Canon EOS 80D but it's really hard to show you my skin because the light is obviously gonna make it look good I do have concealer on so I am gonna include another clip here that I use for my skin routine this is when I was applying the drunk elephant virgin marula oil on my face and you can see that I do I'm gonna get a little up close and personal you can see that I do have like large pores on my nose but that is something that I've never held against skin products that can't help minimize them. I just feel like that's part of being human and I never really cover it up. I don't wear foundation or anything. I just wear the concealer, like I said, even though I did purchase foundation because I want to do a video on like my first foundation. But yes, I do have some texture or like just large pores, but that just comes with being human. So I can't knock this product for changing that because I feel like that's just part of like my anatomy that you're just gonna have pores because this is your skin and all skin has some sort of texture in my opinion overall I definitely enjoyed this product if I had the money and I was standing in Sephora and I saw this and I needed it because I had run out which I'm really close to running out but I'm gonna hold off because of the fact that I'm on a no buy and this is expensive I would buy it I would whereas with the Lala retro and the other ones that I had tried out I was a little hesitant the only one that I've repurchased more than once is the virgin marula oil and then the sunscreen one so those are my overall thoughts on the glycolic serum i hope you guys enjoyed i'm sorry if that was a little bit rambly it's just there's a lot of pressure when i film these videos because i don't want to recommend something that is so expensive if i don't truly believe in it also i purchased this with my own money like normal like everything from drink elephant that i ever had i purchased with my own money my wallet is sad anyway if you made it to the end don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked what you see and you want to keep up with all my other drink elephant reviews that are coming up because I still have to do one for the baby facial and and the retinol cream. Bye everybody!